want to talk today about fault code E203. If you have this fault code, it will be shown on the main PCB at the front, on here. On a normally operating system, you would see LEDs lit on the PCB, which I'll show you a bit later. But this is what it would look like with 203. You can see that everything's dead. There's no sign of power. But you can check it's powered up nice and easily by coming over to the noise filter, which is here. You can see your live connection is here, and your neutral is tucked around the back here. And if you measure it, you should see 240 volts across there. If this is the case, then I'm afraid the inverter PCB is broken. And this is either because the fan motors connected here or here have caused a problem, or the compressor itself, which is connected here, has caused a problem. Either way, you'll need to change the board, which is quite simple. If you pull the cables away, you can see very carefully underneath, there's a screw in here and another one here. You undo these and the whole board slides out um, on a big aluminium cooling fin. And you'd need to disconnect the nine cables which hold it in and change the board. What I'm gonna show you is what a healthy PCB looks like in a few seconds. You can see in this case the PCB is fine. So you have a red power LED here, a communication LED in green, and another power LED in green at the back. And this is what it should look like. If you have just a general communication problem, i.e. this cable here has fallen out, or it's fallen out of the other end, which is on the main PCB here, all that will happen is when you come back to this board, the green one here will stop flashing and a bright yellow one will flash like the clappers to say you've got a problem. So this one's nice and easy to fix.